Yo, what up everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to Get Jacked here in Ark Survival Evolved. Now, what we're going to be doing today in this video is we're going to be heading out and we're going to be finding us a really high level Mazasaur. I've, it's been a really long time since I've tamed any kind of Mazasaur, let alone, you know, a hundred plus one or something like that. So, I do want to find one that's like a hundred plus or something along those lines. I think it'll be really fun to go out, tame it up, and see how the whole process is, you know, using a raft and refrigerators. So, that's what we're going to be doing. But anyway, as you can see I've built this little uh, room onto our base I think it's pretty sweet I mean every base now needs an industrial forge I mean who wants to cook metal and all and you know like the normal forge and all that kind of stuff I can't even think of the name of it right now because it's unimportant because I've got this now but anyway I built this little room it uh, it's nicely incorporated into the side here on the uh this is the hidden lake area so anyway why don't we get on our argent we're gonna go out there is a spawn of these guys right behind the carnal island what do you know right behind the most dangerous place are the mazasaurs so there's one spawn back there we're gonna go see where it is and see if we can find a high level one all right so here we are i've converted over the battleship boat that I kind of built in one of the other videos and it is now a little refrigeration raft we'll just call it that for now so I've got that little window there so I can easily access the generator and whatnot it's just kind of hanging out now I don't like how the cables work I know it just kind of looks stupid but anyway we've got all of our supplies I'll kind of show you we've got all kinds of prime we've got tons of narcotics now these guys lose topor at a ridiculously rapid rate now i think if we find a high enough one it's topor will just be high enough where it won't be too big of an issue but i've also got tons of prime so i've got our little manta ray he's kind of hanging out in the little bay that i put it little hole for him but anyway i don't know how useful this is going to be check out how quick he is i think one bite from wazasaur might kill this guy he's it's pretty weak no matter what level you get these guys at their health is low so let's throw him on here but anyway we've got our ship we've got our prime meat I didn't even want to have to go and search for prime you know during the tame I just wanted it all stocked up and ready because I don't want to have to you know worry about him dropping into a poor because they you don't have too much time before they lose all their to poor will wake up on you when you're trying to get prime but anyway why don't we go see if we can find a nice high level one and we'll be right right back all right so here we are I've got <laughs> all right so I had to get the megalodon because I was scouting out I was looking around for one of these guys at the mazasaur and those manta rays they're not so they don't, they don't hold up too well down here with all the sharks and uh, plesios and all that kind of stuff so I had to get a shark so that we could actually do this the right way so also was a I thought that Duckleo was actually the Mazasaur. So, I found the Mazasaur anyway, by the way. And he's down here somewhere. Now, this one, is, uh, it's level 108. 108. It, this is going to be a crazy long tame. Now, where did this thing go? I'll see if I can find it. Oh, there he is. There he is. See him over in the background there? Oh my gosh, yeah, he's level 108, so this is gonna be a pretty intense team. Well, we got a shark following us. We gotta, we gotta dismantle this before we, before we move on. Well, that one's got a pretty cool coloration on it. Oh man, not even bloody yet. This is a freshly tamed up megalodon, so it doesn't have too too many levels, but it should hold up. It should hold its own. Be able to protect us from angler fish. I've, I've been being attacked by a lot of angler fish, which is really annoying. All right, let's get this. Get out of here. Let's just die. Okay. This is only level 40. It took you that long. See, this is why we need a mazasaur. But anyway, let's get this guy. Let's just park this like up in the sky. So I used to, like I said, I used to just tame these in a cave. You know, build a little base camp in the cave, lure it there, and do all that. But if you actually just kind of swim above them, I'll kind of show you how this works. If you swim above them kind of slowly, you, you don't even have to worry about them attacking you or anything. You just got to bring them up to the invisible barrier that's like right in where, kind of where I am right now. They won't go any higher than that. So you just got to kite them around. So let's see if we can get this guy. Look at this swim around. So, and I apologize. I'm not putting the scuba goggles on because the vision on those is even worse than just normal. So um, we just got to deal with how it looks underwater. Unfortunately... It's not too easy to see sometimes. Is Are these hitting him? Is, is there weapon drop underwater? Or is there more weapon drop underwater? Who knows? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it matters in arc, but I mean, in real life, it could, I feel like it'd probably have a lot more weapon drop. 
But anyway, what the heck? I don't want to get too close to this race. To, oh, that one definitely registered. Yeah, he's mad at me. Okay, he's coming. All right. So anyway, as you can see, he's gonna float. He's gonna float his way up here, and then he's just gonna be like, "Okay, bye." And so he's leaving. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. It's weird. I, f I feel like you might as well just come up and bite me. You know, you can just eat me totally. <laughs> but you know, that's how it goes. So let's see. I think this is gonna take a ridiculous amount of arrows. Now I've got a few hundred, so I don't think we'll run out. I think this should definitely be doable. I've got all the narcotics that we're gonna need. We've got all the prime that we're gonna need. So basically, the hardest part of this whole thing is gonna be knocking this guy out because it is level 108. It's still poor is gonna be so high. All right, look at that. <laughs> see, he's just gonna float all the way up. Basically, we're just gonna do this for about, you know, two arc day and night cycles and he should maybe go to sleep hopefully i mean this thing is just gonna i've never tamed up one over level like 50 before so this one is like intense so let's see here let's keep railing into him and i've cleared out a few of the there were a few megalodons and anglerfish like i said in the area but it doesn't seem like there's too much resistance over here otherwise usually you're just being swarmed by sharks and all kinds of crazy stuff so I think we're pretty fortunate as to where we found this one. Alright, so I think I've used, what have I used, like, 80? Not 80, maybe like 50 arrows so far? And he doesn't, uh, I don't think it's going to be making a dent into him until we hit around, like, maybe 200 or so. I think it's really going to take that many. Now, I, I did bring three crossbows, so I think we're prepared to that aspect because otherwise yep yep right there right there it broke yeah all right <laughs> crossbow number one down that one was was prematurely damaged so this one's a full full crossbow this one isn't a primitive one either this one's i believe a uh i'm not sure which one this was oh, oh god let's get away we do not want this one to bite us because literally uh if this thing bites us it's probably gonna do a good quarter of our health and also the more it bites you, the more durability you lose on your scuba tank. So, I mean, you don't want to get bit because you don't want to be, you know, stuck down here without a scuba tank or something like that. So, let's... I t oh, man, when I changed... Oh, man. When I changed that, uh, that crossbow, I actually I left in the stone arrow. So, we might have shot him a few times with stone ones. Sorry, it took me a second to realize that. I was kind of talking. Okay, so float up here float up here and we'll just continue to shoot him all right so anyway this is how it's gonna go for a while I'm just gonna continue to rail on him with these arrows and we'll be right back when he's all knocked out all right so I killed him just kidding I didn't kill him <laughs> but doesn't he look like he's dead I really thought I did kill him uh, he's oh, he's so bloody it took so many arrows like such a ridiculous amount of arrows uh, I've still got a ton left though because I was prepared but anyway look at this topor 22k topor and look at how quickly it's dropping so I'm gonna get these narcotics in here we need to get our prime down here Where, where's that shark at oh we need to go all the way up to the shark we'll be right back okay we've got narcotics a ton of narcotics in here he is going to be ready yeah this should be plenty now a thing about Mazasaur is when you kind of wait until their topor goes all the way down because otherwise when you're out getting prime and all that kind of stuff you'll probably lose them now when it goes all the way down you just you know rail in like a thousand narcotics or something like that and then he's set he's good for like 30 minutes or something like that and you can kind of gather your meat and all that kind of stuff so let's see his food here okay so he's gonna be able to eat six pieces of food how many did I bring down I think I only brought six pieces of food down, so I think I'm gonna have to grab a few more because I want them to eat all prime, you know, because we've got all of it in the refrigerators. We might as well, you know, perfect tame ish this. You know, we don't have the uh, kibble and all that kind of stuff, but we'll we'll get as far as far along as we possibly can. So let's go, we'll get a couple more pieces of prime. Now you can kind of you kinda of know if you do have enough prime because like he was down three hundred food, so I know he's gonna eat six prime because each uh, prime takes 50 food basically. So let's go down, uh, let's make it down. Look at how weird it looks when you're just in the, the in-between part of the ocean, in between the ground and the sky. 
so so ugly. But anyway, let's let's move along. Look at this limp. He's just limply floating there. Uh, uh, so weird. So let's get this prime into him before he wakes up. All right, let's see here. All right, so he's at about half topor. Did I feed him? Oh yeah, I did. Feed his topor is going up. Okay, so I did feed him those. Let's get the rest into here quickly before he eats this, or before these uh, rot. We don't want them to get all gross and decompose and whatnot. All right, let's throw these in. There we go. Now eat a eat away. Let's see. So he's gonna eat a good majority of these, and let's see how far along we've gotten them. Oh man. Let's see here. Oh! See, this is the horrible part about Mazasaur. They take forever. So, I'm going to go through this tame. Obviously, I'm not going to put you through the probably two hours that it's going to take to tame this thing. And we'll be right back when he's all set. We kind of test out a little bit of how he works. Okay, so we're back. We've got it all tamed up, and we're all set to test this thing out. Now, this thing is really awesome. Okay, I don't know what's up with the Argent, but it just feels like it's supposed to park in that bay right there. That's really annoying. But anyway, let's get on our Megalodon. Let's head down here. And this thing, I mean, honestly, it took about two hours. <laughs> it did take about two hours. It was ridiculous. The amount of, I mean, at least I had all the primes, so I was just able to just kind of go back and forth, just ferrying it narcotics and primes. So, I mean, it wasn't difficult, but it was a long process. It was really annoying. So what did it say about it? It's at 161. We've got a saddle out. It's all set to go. Now this thing is so cool. I mean, just in general, I love the Mazasaur. Now, let's check out the stats. It's got over 9k health, 1600 stamina. Look at the weight. Holy crap, you can carry some stuff. Uh, but anyway, the movement speed's only 100. I wish they could uh, level, like, in the wild, I wish they leveled up their movement speed so you could find some really quick ones. But anyway, this one is pretty sweet. Let's let's have this guy follow us. We'll, we'll park him up top. But these things are super strong. Now, the only problem with Mazasaurs is once you tame a Mazasaur, you're like, like, what do you do with it? What do you, what do you do with it? Like, in PvP, like, you kill all kinds of crazy stuff, but since I'm on this little PvE server here, it, it can't really, there's not much use to them at this point, you know? I mean, you can go out and you can kill more Mazasaurs, or I've used them to kill, like, Alpha T-Rex. Let's park this guy over here so we don't have to worry about him bothering us but you know i've killed t like alpha t-rex and stuff with them but i mean that's fun but i mean i wish there were some cool other water dinosaurs or or cool water bosses or something that you could actually fight with this guy maybe just one water boss that would be cool but anyway let's see if we can find something to kind of kill with this thing see what we've got going on down here Anything down here? I don't think this is, I think I've uh, killed everything in this area while trying to tame this guy. Okay, so anyway, let's see if we can find a little something to kill and see how powerful he is. Alright, so I've came up to the shore because I figured we could find some stuff up here. Look at that. Three bites. Now that is a little bit better than the Megalodon we were using for sure. <laughs> but anyway, let's see here. I think I saw something. I think I saw. What do we got over here? Some Argents. I think we can get these Argents to come after us. I don't think we can get that. I don't know if we even want to. I don't think that would be much of a challenge anyway. I just saw a T Rex. There he is. Okay, we've got a T Rex. Let's go take out this guy. He's close enough to shore. Look at him. He's just stuck on all the other stuff. Let's see if we can get his attention. Hey, over here. Over here. Look at the Mazasaur. Don't put your head up like that. That's weird. <laughs> it makes me go through it. Okay, but anyway, let's see here. Let's see if we can get his attention. Come here, man. Oh, oh, crap, crap, crap. Come here. No, let me on. Let me on. All right, let's bite him. Oh, yeah. Oh, are we getting him? I think we're getting him. Oh, he's getting bloody. He's already getting bloody. Don't, don't walk away. Oh, he walked away. Hey, we killed that Argent, though. Level 80, level 80 Argent. Uh, but anyway, let's see here. Let's get him to come back after us. I don't think he'll, he'll aggro onto a Mazasaur. Come here, man. Come on. I want to kill you. Over here. Come on. Alright, so let's get on to Let's see if we can get on. Crap. Crap. Alright, get on. Bite him. Oh, yeah. There we go. Level 76 T Rex. 
But, you know, like I said, there's not much to kill except other Bosasaurs and Plesiosaurs, of course. But anyway, we got us a little T-Rex action. But uh, let's uh, head back to the raft here. Oh, let's kill this shark. One more shark. One more shark kill. What level are you? Level 36? That wasn't too bad. All right, we finished him off. But anyway, I think that's where we're going to stop for today. We got our Mazasaur level 108. This thing's awesome. So if you like the video, definitely hit that thumbs up. Help me out here on the channel and or subscribe to the channel for more content if you haven't already. You all have a great rest of your day. And, of course, we will catch you next time.